Hello YouTube. A while ago I put up a video for performing an orbital rendezvous as part of an answer to a question on, car on Arcade, a uh, question and answer site uh, part of the Stack Exchange Network. I recently got a follow-up question on what to do after getting and reaching an intersect, so that's what I'm going to show you today. As you can see, I have two ships in orbit, and they're separated by a fairly big distance. I'll be controlling this leading ship, and the first thing I'm going to do is increase its apoapsis such that I uh, get an intersect about 5 kilometers. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to wait until the next orbit intersects. And I went a little too far, so let's correct that. There, that's pretty good. So let's warp around the planet. I am intentionally not going to get a closer one, although I know I could, uh, just so that I can demonstrate the next step, which is the initial approach. And so now that we're getting a little closer, let's go back into ship view. There's our target. We can see our relative velocity uh, is increasing. So uh, once we get down to about, oh, I don't know, 10 kilometers, I'll uh, kill some of that and then demonstrate what you need to do in order to get, or in order to do your initial approach. Kilometers. First thing I'm going to do is basically kill all of my relative velocity. That's close enough. And now I am going to point exactly at the target. And increase this to about uh, 25 meters per second. Okay, a little more than 25 meters per second. And this is basically what you want to do for your initial approach. Is just keep doing this. You can see we've just the orbital mechanics that brought up their uh, velocity, relative velocity. So I'm going to both correct and reduce that, uh, basically by pushing the retrograde target back uh, onto the anti-target and reduce the relative velocity at the same time. So again, warp a little further until we're in close. Kill some relative velocity and also keep us lined up. And actually another thing that you can do, uh, instead of pushing the retrograde, you can pull the prograde. So, just like that. Warp a little more. We can see that the it's slipping a lot quicker now. So 
So without changing our relative velocity much, I can adjust the course by uh, burning a little further away from the uh, prograde vector. And now at this distance, I basically only want to be reducing relative velocity. Well, maybe not. We're not getting close to our target fast enough, so... Another pull, and increase relative velocity. So you can see how, if I had actually done a better approach, I wouldn't have to be wasting all this fuel just correcting my course. Which is why you want the closest approach that you can get. And now that we're within a, a kilometer, things start to become a lot easier. I'm going to set up for my final approach braking burn. Do right around now. And open my shield, turn on the lights, do the same for this guy. Orient myself. And reset my target. And go pure RCS from here on out. Oh, and also switch to chase view. my target. There we go.
course, slow and steady wins the race in this case. And success! So that is how you go from a huge distance difference down to docked. Hope you enjoyed.